Hey, yo, what it do, what it do, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this amazing forex trading strategy, right? So, do smash on that like button for me as in my base model continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys, right? And please note that I do not sell anything in the forex trading space, I do not offer any investment packages. So, please be aware of scammers out there that may try to take your money using my name, right? And today's video sponsor is AAA FX, one of the best brokers you could ever find out there. I'm currently using them, so that is why I'm recommending them to you because of the past good experience i've been having with them you can check them out by signing up using the link that is in this video's description without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so first things first right queens you, you can see here that i'm on my 12 hour time frame right so first things first you may want to do what you may want to go over to your daily time frame right you may want to go over where to your daily time frame right let us just get our replay tool first there right or let us just put it there right so first things first you may want to go over to your daily time frame right so on your daily time frame what you are looking for is you are looking for candlestick patterns that are consolidating but also have equal bodies the closing of these daily time frame candlestick patterns must be equal right so let me just try and show you what i mean right let us just say that we've gotten our heart let us just say that we've gotten our candlestick patterns there we've gotten our candlestick patterns our daily time frame candlestick patterns there right and then maybe we've gotten ourselves the weeks and stuff like that maybe we've gotten ourselves serves the weeks unfortunately it's like cannot throw the weeks but you know we've may, maybe we've gotten ourselves the the weeks and stuff the weeks and stuff the weeks and stuff the weeks and stuff like the weeks mustn't be equal right it's it's it, it's not that much important for the weeks to be equal right so what is it that th that you then do what is it what is it that you then do you then sort of like throw your what you then sort of like throw your zone there that is the zone that you are looking for that is the zone that you are looking for for instance let us just look at real chart uh, uh, uh data here you can see here that we had ourselves some daily candlestick patterns right and then the closing of this daily candlestick bodies they were sort of like the same right you can see that the weeks they are not equal but the bodies they are sort of like what they are sort of like equal so that is why you then do it that is where you then throw your zone there right that is why you then do it that is where you throw your zone there also you can see here that the bodies of these candlestick patterns there yeah are also equal that is why you also do it that is why you also throw your support zone right there right that is where you also throw your heart your support zone right there right so you can see that the weeks of this daily candlestick patterns they are not they are not equal but the bodies they are sort of like equal right they are sort of like equal so you can do this on your daily time frame or on your weekly time frame you know the monthly time frame yes you can do it but you know i i don't like using it because you know i can sort of like get less set, set types and stuff like that but you know if you see something like this happening on your daily time frame or on your weekly time frame there is where you then do it there is where you then throw your zone right there right so why is this crucial right why is this crucial right what are these zones what are these zones for right so these zones are going to act as my what as my killer zones right so this structure here this structure here on my smaller time frames it is what is called maybe a consolidating pattern or a continuation pattern maybe sometimes a flat pattern or a falling wedge or you, you know those kind of continuation patterns right let us just try and do something like that right so if you can just throw let me show you right this looks like my what this is looks like my continuation pattern right so most of the time you then get yourself a what you then get yourself a breakout and then you know you sell and stuff like that right but that is not where i am at right so now remember that we threw our zones on on our what on our daily time frame and right now we are currently on our one hour time frame right so what is it that that we, we wait for we wait for price to do what to at least break out of of this consolidating pattern remember that we said that this is some sort of like what remember remember that we said that this is some sort of like co continuation pattern right but now we wait for price to do what to sort of like break out from these uh from this uh continuation pattern right and then 
you can see that this was my resistance zone and this is my support zone so if price is going to, to if price is going to break to the downward right if price is going to break to the downward and become bearish then it means now that you are only going to be focusing on your resistance zone right why am i going to be focusing on my resistance zone it is because now price is most likely to break out right and then preferably may become back and stuff like that right so you just you, you just take out that support zone right so let us just uh sort of like look if price did break to the downward or to the upper right so there we go we can see now that price has broken out of this support right there right so what is it that we wait for this is now our killer zone this is now our killer zone what 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 do i mean by our killer zone i mean now that we are waiting to take our entry on this zone right so let us just continue right so we are waiting for price to come back to this zone where we can now take our entry right and there we go right this is now my what this is now my one hour time frame right let's just do that right this is now my one hour time frame right there we go right this is now my one hour time frame and then you can see that on my one hour time frame what is it that i got i got myself a bearish candlestick pattern but as you guys know that i do not like to enter using this small time frame so what is it that i'm going to be doing now it's either i'm going to be going over to my four hour time frame remember that i enter from the four hour time frame six hour time frame eight hour time frame and the 12 hour time frame right but preferably let us just um do something like this you can see now that on my um on my four hour time frame i never really got my candlestick pattern there right so that means now that i have to switch over to my six hour time frame to look if whether i did get myself a candlestick pattern and then this is now my six hour time frame and you can see now that on my six hour time frame i got myself a what i got myself a bearish candlestick pattern on this kill zone right right so what is it that i do now i preferably place my cell entry right and then i put my stop loss there and then what is it that i do i let this trade run preferably let us just say maybe a one is two three risk to reward ratio would be fine right and let us then look at what price then done right and then bam one is two three risk to reward ratio would have been taken easily without any problems and stuff like that right so these zones they are very 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 crucial because price because uh because price on the daily time frame the body of this daily time frame wouldn't just be closing at that same zone at that same zone if there, there wasn't anything there right so you then come and then you throw your zone and then you wait for price to break out of that consolidating structure because because on the lower time frame it is going to create some sort of like consolidating structure or it, it is going to create some sort of like flag pattern or a falling wedge or a continuation pattern right so you wait for price to break out of that continuation pattern and then you wait for it to come back on that kill zone right there just to make sure that you guys pretty much understand what i am unpacking here right let's just look at uh, at another setup right so um remember remember that i said that you you are allowed to use the daily time frame excuse me or the weekly time frame for this trading strategy right let's just close that right so let us now go over to to our weekly time frame and look for a setup since since uh there we had used our daily time frame right so let us look for weekly time frame candles that close at same equal points like like the bodies of those weekly time frame uh candlestick patterns have to close sort of like at at, at the same zone right so i'm sort of like seeing something here you can see here that these weekly candlestick patterns the body of this weekly candlestick patterns somehow closed at this zone right there right you can see that the body of this weekly time frame candlestick somehow closed there right so now what is it that we wait for right let us just now extend our zone right there let's now extend our zone right there and now let us preferably maybe let us just go over to our one our time frame 
right let us now go over to our one hour time frame right remember that remember that um it created let me just go back to my weekly time frame so that you guys can see that i've now used the replay tool right so this structure is going to to sort of like create some sort of like consolidating structure like this right like that right you can see right and then i uh, and then i use uh, and then i use my replay tool and then probably i put price there right and then remember now that this is my zone right this is where i'm expecting price to break out from this consolidating structure and then i'm, I'm expecting price to do what do something like that and then come back there and then i wait for my entry properties right so let us now go over preferably to our one hour time frame right you can now take this off right you can now take that off right and let us do that and let us see what price then done right and let us just see what price then done there we see price moving to the upward let us put that on our for our time frame right we see price moving to the upward right we are still expecting remember that price then broke out of this consolidating structure you can see here that this is my consolidating structure right let us just look at what price then done let us see if it did come back here okay it is still playing around it is still playing around okay there it falls there it goes okay there it is promising to come back down it is promising to come back down right let us just wait for it let's just wait for it There we go there we go there we go right and now you can see that price is somehow approaching this zone right there price is somehow approaching this zone right there right let's just continue just continue and there we go right so now you can see now that price is where price is now on our zone that is where we now start to look for our entry properties right so let us see if this zone is really going to hold price let us see if this zone is really going to reverse price to the upward right and there we go and there we go right price then gave us a what a double bottom right you can see that we had a what a double bottom and then price moved to the upward this is no coincidence right please try to understand that this is no coincidence price cannot just come at these zones like uh, 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 and like no there is something here bro like price cannot just come at these zones right so these zones are very 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 crucial right so you can see guys that price then turn what that price then came back on this zone right you can clearly see that price then turn what that price then came back and reversed from this zone right as you can see price came back it reversed on this zone and then it gave us a double bottom and then it moved to the upward from this zone it just shot up so this is no coincidence price cannot just come on this zone for nothing bro and then on that other set up price cannot just come on these zones for nothing so please know how to throw these zones go over to a daily time frame weekly time frame if you've got yourself and any questions do leave a comment do leave a like i hope you did find value guys see you on the next one cool cool